Hi there, I'm Ray, a technician at 4x4AT here in Leeming Bar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Aeroclass electric roller shutter on this Amrock 2023. This also applies to the Wild Track 2023 and the Raptor 2023. And these are the tools that you're going to need. Drill, impact driver, Allen keys, extension, half inch ratchet, tail mill ratchet spanner, trim tool, I've got a PH2 Phillips bit, a small quarter drive ratchet, pick, flat blade screwdriver, 32 mil hole saw, step drill, Loctite, a knife, deburrer, and cable ties. I've got a tie wrap gun, could use flush cuts, T30, T40, a 10 and 13 mil sockets, as well as a small selection of bits. So we're going to start with unboxing. Um, here, as you can see, we have our Aeroclass roller shutter on the bottom, and we do have some crossbars that we're going to install on that as well. Um, so I'll start unboxing our Aeroclass electric roller shutter. So this is how you receive your Aeroclass roller shutter. As we can see, this box is in very good condition, so we can move on to the next step. But if uh, your box is damaged, then you do need to um, mention that on the consignment note. Um, so we can sort something out. So now that we've got all our other bits off, we're ready to lift the lid off. This is the top panel. Um, I'm just gonna pop that out of the way somewhere safe for now so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. So as I've got the top cover off and out of the way, I'm gonna build the electric roller shutter as if it was going to go straight onto the back of the vehicle. The canister itself, uh, I'd advise it's a two person lift to lift it out of the box. Um, so I'll lay the right hand rail down there um, and then I'll grab Ben to give me a lift with this out of the box. So now that we've emptied the box, uh, I've got the right hand rail there. The left hand rail is just down here at the front. Obviously we've got our canister. Then we've got two bags. One bag has the instructions and the brackets in the back of, as well as some small fittings. And then in the other, we have the drainage tube, the electrical harness and some tie wraps. So our next step is to take the left hand rail and just lay it uh, this way and then you can see that this is the same orientation as the vehicle. Slide that out. So from the bag that has the instructions in, we're going to remove these three fittings, which is an M6 spring washer, an M6 with T30 heads on and an M6 flat washer. I put a bit of thread lock on there just to stop them from coming out of the side of the rails but I'll show you how to fit the rails now. So to fit our rails I'm just going to lean this forward and then support it with my knee and then if we look here this this tab here needs to slide into this part of the frame. To do that we're going to flip that over watch our jumper cable and then I'm going to lift this section of the shutter up. Get this section in, round. Making sure the cable is not stuck. Now we'll do the same on the opposite side. So again, lift the shutter up slightly. Slides down. There, I'm just getting this seal over there, like so. Let's slide it forward. Now I'm ready to put my screws in. So one, two, three. So I'm just gonna put Loctite on these. So I'll cut my bag open. There is six of these. And we want six spring washers and six flat washers. So spring washer up first, then flat washer. So we have three T30s 
to go down this side. I'm just going to put them on a socket. So now they're all, all three of them in, I'm just going to tighten them up. Now I'll move on to the opposite side and do the same again there. Now that we have both our rails on, I'm ready to click the harness on for the buttons for the manual buttons. Click that in there and that sit down there. Now that we have our core of the roller shutter together, um, we're ready to move on to the car. So on the Amrock model, we have this sports bar. The sports bar does uh, need to come off uh, for us to install the roller shutter. It's not difficult to remove, um, but that's only um, on the Amrock that we need to do that. Uh, the rest, the wild track and, and the Raptor, we don't need to do anything. So to remove the sports bar off the Amrock, we have two 13 mil bolts that are up here and then at the front we have two tens. So I'll start by removing the two at the back. So at the front, uh, the bolts that we need to access are behind this cover, there's a cover there as well. Just simply pull that off. So as you can see, our two tens. The bottom one, you need to fully take out and the top one we just need to loosen. Now I'm going to grab Ben again to give me a hand lifting this off. So we'll start with our brackets. Um, I have our front ones here and then we have a middle and a back and then a middle and a back. These are bagged up with one side is for the roller shutter and the other side is for the truck. So I have all our brackets laid out here. Notice on the uh, brackets that sit at the front, we have RH on one and LH on the other, left hand and right hand. Right hand is the driver's side, left hand passenger side. Now, if we go to these two brackets, these are our, our end brackets, which go right at the end of the truck and then these are our middle ones here and finally we have the ones for the actual roller shutter so we will attach them to the roller shutter prior to uh, putting it on the truck so for now i'll start with our front brackets then i'll go to our middle then i'll go to our back so i have our four m8 bolts which are t40s so these do replace the ones that are already in the anchor points at the front. So then out of this bag, we need four M8 flat washers, and then we need four M8 spring washers. These are all individually bagged. So I'm going to install our spring washer first, and then our flat washer. Do the same thing another three more times. So now I will grab our left hand bracket and take the tie down point off and install this one. So this is the anchor point that we're going to remove. We have two T40s. So I have our left hand bracket, pop my bolts through and they pick up on the original holes. Repeat the same step on the opposite side. Now I'll grab our bolts for our middle and rear brackets, which are M6. The setup is the same, spring washer and flat washer. 
Now that we've sorted our bolts out, uh, we can install the middle brackets. So our holes are roughly in line with, um, just past the light, sorry. Uh, I do want to point out that on the AMROC, this uh, cover here comes over the side of the bed, but on the wild track it doesn't, uh, and on the Raptor it doesn't, so these holes would be much easier to see. Just take note that this side with the larger plate on it is the side that sits on the rail, and this with the smaller section on goes towards the roller shutter. If we look under, you should be able to see the two holes. The brackets that go towards the end of our bed, these two points here are the side that sit on the rail. So if we look on the AMROC, it has this um, part here, they go at either side of that. So slide that up either side, you should pull through and start that off. Now we'll do the same on the opposite side. Now we're ready to tighten everything up. Just got the 10 mil ratchet spanner. Now that we've got our middle and back brackets on, I'm going to put the ones for the roller shutter on. So when I put the roller shutter on, it has something flat to sit against. So we have the two uh, holes there with threads in them. Don't worry about the height for now because we're going to adjust that once the roller shutter is actually on. So for now, I'm just going to line them up with the top. So I'm just going to nip these up so that sort of stay in that position that we spoke about. Now to complete the installation of our brackets, we just have a couple of bits to put on the actual electric roller shutter um, before mounting it to the vehicle. Um, so we have some keyways that we need to slide down um, in the roller shutter, which we'll put in, a, in an upright position to slide them in. And then we have four grub screws that we need to put in. Now I've got our bag with our keyways in and our bag with our grub screws. Uh, we only need four of these um, keyways out of this bag. The rest are already um, come pre-installed in the, in the uh, legs themselves, in the rails themselves. Now I'm going to put a bit of Loctite on these grub screws. Note that one end has a position for an Allen key and the other side is blank. The blank side is the side that needs to go into this keyway into the top position. So we'll see how we have this notched out. Our grub screw is going to go in that way, like so. But prior to that, I'll put a bit of Loctite on the end of it and then screw them into there and then put them in the rails. Now that I have all those keyways ready, I'm going to lift the roller shutter into an upright position and slide these keyways in. Then just tighten by hand these grub screws to hold them in the rail. So simply lift this up. And then if we look here in the rail, so we have this access point here to allow us to slide our grub, our grub screw and keyway into position. So simply pop that in there, slide it roughly into position, up the rail, and then just tighten them by hand just to hold them. Doesn't matter, we're still gonna move these into position later on. Whilst I'm here, I'll remove the keys as well for the roller shutter. Now we're ready to move on to the wiring. So we have our main loom here, and then we have our central locking loom. 
For now, we're just going to concentrate on the main loom. I'm going to use two of these cable ties as a rod, as like a fishing rod, to help me get the wiring through and into the bed. Get two of these long ones. And then I'm going to electrical tape them together. So now I have a uh, rod to help me get the wiring through. So our wiring is going to come up through the uh, bottom of the tub and then through this section here in this corner. Um, but to get that wiring through, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to feed this through there. You feel it go down. Now that we've passed our cable tied down, you just want to put your hand up and you'll be able to reach it. And you see, you have the other side of it. So I'm going to electrical tape the loom that I need to go up that way to the end of this and pull it back through. Now I've got our main loom here and it's a white plug that we're going to uh, electrical tape to this tie rack. So um, it will pull up into the bed. So I'll go up to the top now and pull that uh, cable tight. Now I'll start pulling that through. Just take the electrical tape off. Now that we've got our loom through, I've just hooked it around that bracket just to stop it from falling back through. And now I'm going to move on to the central locking wire, uh, which plugs in at the, picks up off the tailgate and then comes across the bed and down this way following the factory loom. And then we should plug that into this part of the harness, which is the green and the blue wire. So we'll do that and then we'll run this wire up to the battery. Now, like I said, we're going to start at this back corner here. So I'll lift the tailgate up and go underneath. Now underneath the tub here on the driver's side, uh, we have the top one is for the rear camera and the bottom one here is for the third brake light and the central locking for the tailgate. So all we're going to do is simply press this tab in and pull that out. Then our plug for our harness. We're going to plug into there and our other end back into the loom. So basically we've intercepted the um, connection between here and here. Now the loom, we're going to follow this cross member which comes across here and goes above the spare wheel and tie around my loom to. So I'll feed it over that earth cable. So we come over the cross member, which goes above the spare wheel. Now on the opposite side, on the passenger side. I'm just going to tie wrap there, and I'm going to pull that tight, which for that, for that tie wrap. And now from there, I'm going to go towards the front of the vehicle, following the factory loom, which is black, and it's on the side of the chassis. Now that I've got the central locking wires, uh, pass the fuel tank and we're just in the, towards the cab of the vehicle. You can join these two together now, which is the main loom and the central locking harness. Join them together. And then we carry on running the main loom down the um, chassis, following the factory loom.
Now we're nearly at the, the battery, ready to go up into the engine bay now. So I'm just going to go around, pop the bonnet, and um, pass this up into the engine bay. Now we're going to pass the loom up the chassis and then into the bay. So if you look behind this wheel arch, we're just going to follow that across there and then just over the suspension and into the engine bay and then going from above and I'll grab that. Now that we're in the engine bay, simply grab the loom. the loom to go right to the back of the engine bay and then we can take power off the battery on the battery terminal we have the two that are being used by the car then I have one which I've already got some accessories on so I'm going to take off of that one Should move a 10 mil nut And then just earth off of there. I'm just going to pull the fuse for now until we've got the roller shutter on. Now we've got our wiring in, uh, we can it up to the battery, but we've taken the fuse out. Um, we're ready to lift the roller shutter on, so I'm just going to get Ben to give me a lift and then lift that onto the tailgate, and then from there I'm going to lift it into position. Now we've got that on there, I'm just going to uh, spray the sides of the caps with uh, some glass cleaner just to help. Now I'm going to grab the sides of the roller shutter and use my knee to support uh, getting that into place. Um, it's easier to do it with one person rather than two. You can do it with two, um, but uh, time has proven that uh, doing it with one is better. So. Grab my roller shutter. Move my knee to slide it into place. Now those keyways that we slid in earlier, I'm just going to loosen those grub screws and allow them to slot into these brackets. That will mean to position the um, electric roller shutter for forward and backward. You can actually move it. I'm just going to loosen it so it slides up and down and we need to locate them into those uh, brackets that we put on the uh, on the rails so we have the middle and the back so lift that up and slide them into position and leave them loose for now now if there's two T40s to go inside the canister which pick up on the front brackets which are these last two T40s. So um, same as before, spring washer on first and then flat washer. Grab that and a T40 and we'll go to the canister. Now our bolts go in that hole that's down there. So if you put these onto your socket and just get it through the hole first. Now this is the one that side and there's one at the opposite side. Uh, we're going to tighten them but we need to do it evenly left and right so it doesn't pull the roller shutter to the left too much and it doesn't pull it to the right hand side too much. So I'll move over to the right hand side and put the same one in there. Now 
Now I'm going to fit the M6 uh, nylock nuts to the underside of the grub screws and get them tight and then get the height correct. We'll loosen this bracket off. Turn it in, loosen this one. And do the same on the opposite side. Now I've lifted these up to the highest point that they'll go and then I've just nipped the last screw. So when they lift the tailgate up, because to get the height, we're going to use this piece of rubber off the edge of the tailgate. So instead of it slamming into that, just lift them up to the highest point and then just nip one of the screws just so they stay there. I'm going to lift the tailgate up like so and then we have a small gap just there. I'm just going to loosen that. Loosen this one. Just push that to there and just get that gasket so it's just above that piece of plastic that runs along the tailgate. Same on the opposite side. Now, I just want to try and get this angle right of the uh, roller shutter on the seal against the side. So I'm gonna loosen that grub screw and just push that outwards for now. So, like so. Yeah, it's somewhere to there. And then we're gonna check all this once we've got the Roll the shutter in its closed position. Again. Now I should plug the roller shutter in, which is on this side, our plug. It's just on the side of the canister. So this plug here needs to plug in to the harness, which is on the side of the canister, which is here. So I'll plug that in. So now that we've got our roller shutter on, uh, ready to fit this uh, cover to the top of the roller shutter itself. So I'll pick that up. This simply slots into position. Now I'm going to put these caps in first. I've got three on either side. And then three torx bits. And move over to the opposite side and do the same there. So the clips up. Now that we've got that on and in position and our electrics in, uh, we're going to lift the bar on and then um, put the fuse in. But I'm going to grab Ben to give me a lift with the bar back on and we'll tighten that into place. Now we're ready to pop the fuse in and make sure the roller shutter works. I'm ready to refit the fuse. 
pop that in and make sure the cover is inserted properly, pushing it firmly down and then put the watertight cover back on. So we have two keys here. I've got one for the car and one for the roller shutter. First thing we need to do is lock the car and then unlock the car. I'm going to open one of the doors just to make sure it doesn't lock again. Now we can test the function of the roller shutter. Now that we're happy that the roller shutter is all working, we're ready to do the drain tubes. Now I do want to point out that uh, we've installed this just temporarily, so I'm not going to drill this, uh, this particular car. But uh, if it does have a spraying liner, I'm going to fit the drain tube and then our hole that we want to drill is roughly in this location to allow the water that runs down the channel to have somewhere to go and not inside the tub. So there is two at either side here and the other two are at the front, which I'll show you. Now, if the vehicle came with a liner, we would only want to drill a hole in the liner and not through the bed. That is to allow the water to escape out of the vehicle. Um, so we have two drain tubes here and we would drill through here. Now, the other two are located at the front underneath the canister and they would go on there. And then same again, if we had the spraying liner, we would drill a hole here and that would allow the water to go that way and come out there. And again, if we had a liner, we would just drill a hole through the liner and allow the water to escape. So to fit these drain tubes, we're gonna slide the Jubilee clip on first and then pop that up there and we're just gonna tighten that in position. Bear in mind, we want the uh, drain tube to be very free flowing, not having any kinks. So we we'll put it in that direction, drill our hole through the bed and out into the light behind the light cluster. That completes the install of the Aeroclass e-roller on the Amrock 2023, which also includes the Raptor and Wildtrak 2023. Thank you for watching.